Hello, what is going on? Let me start. I want to start with Rush Peak because I think he's one of the better takers. We'll find out because he's up against a bad matchup. I was actually kind of there are so many platinum replays today out of nowhere. And I was like, damn, like what is it just every single time I sign up to do one of these now, there's gonna be one random character that just shows up way more than the rest? It was all the same dude. It was all just one platinum player making it look like there were a ton of platinums around. It was one dude grinding. I can't believe that JC actually whipped. I kind of wonder if the hitbox hadn't activated in time. Because it feels like that should have reached him. That sucks. Tried to use JD, but he didn't really react to Ragna dashing forward. And, or JD, but uh, 5D. Yeah, 5D is just not really a poke you get to use. It, at that range, it feels like you should get to use it, because that's basically its max range. But, uh, yeah, sorry, start is too slow. I think you just did that for magnetism, just so we can do that. Because without magnetism, this matchup is just completely and utterly controlled by Ragna. Like, there's really, you really have no good options in neutral. Unless you have, sp oh, unless you have Spark Bolt. But that's a good option. We, nope, we don't. I was wondering if he was going to um, rapid cancel that. He needed magnetism, but yeah, yeah. Okay, force the burst. Okay, very nice. Very nice. He gets the kill. Brought it back. He was, he was, it looked like he was about to be perfected, but he brought it back. The power of Tager. Oh, yeah. I don't think he's blocked an overhead yet. I even dropped it. That's big, dude. He didn't do it. He didn't do it. He didn't do it. You guys, I feel like in this, like the amount of options that Ragna has, I mean, obviously every character is going to be a little bit different in terms of what they're able to do. <laughs> Off of Gadget Finger. But Ragna especially, it feels like you, you have to use the um, 5A Link afterwards. There's He has too much that he can... I mean, obviously, he can just stand there. He can backdash. He can just normal jump. He can... Um, the active frames of JB. People don't respect it enough. But you saw he can do Blood Scythe. There's... Oh, my God, it worked. He should be dead. He might live on a pixel. Oh my god. And... Get dead. That's really unfortunate. He's eaten every overhead. I believe he has eaten every DP. I mean, honestly, his 2D round start against a character who has about 17 buttons that can beat it clean. Why would you ever do that? <laughs> But hey, I mean, maybe this is all part of his plan. All part of his plan. Lord Ragna into a false sense of security. You should have rapid canceled that. I do the same thing every damn time. Rapid cancel it this time. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Yeah! Should have done that the first time. He actually would have gotten, like, 2k more damage minimum. Dude, has this... Speaking of... And his burst came back right when he died. That's unfortunate. Um, But speaking of, you know, like, I was kind of trash talking Rush P a little bit. About how he's eating every single overhead, eating every single DP. I'm pretty sure that Ragma ate every single JB that got thrown out. Like, I don't think he blocked a single one. <laughs> wow, that pot is so garbage. I'm kind of surprised that didn't act. I'm surprised that reached him down on the ground. He was crouching, too. Like, if he was standing, I but he was crouching. All right, that's how you deal with pressure. That's how you deal with pressure. Okay, so two for two on his wake-ups, he's DP. Three for three? Three for three! <laughs> it actually would have worked, too, if like if maybe he had waited for just a little bit. Uh, he could have gotten an auto-correct DP, I think. Oh, he gets the reset, and he overdrives to guarantee the kill, provided he doesn't fucking hit. <laughs> I mean, hey. Oh, okay, let's just end the game away. Let's just end the game away. Okay, that had to have been... A <laughs> I hate everything. <laughs> I got I got fooled. I got lulled into a false sense of security by the per like because that previous match, at least I feel, I'm pretty solid all around, right? Like they both played pretty well. And now this, they just both got game-winning combos, threw it into the trash. 
We're back with the real replay theater experience. I got my one enjoyable match of the day. We're four for four. <laughs> oh, he didn't DP that time. Probably because he saw. We don't count that one because he saw that he was going to be able. Wasn't that off of a 5, eh? And this man has got 3,200? Did he combo up this in the corner? Nope. Oh, he didn't DP. He got counter hit. Clearly, he tried to DP, so we're 5 for 5. <laughs> that is... Oh, but messed up again. Come on, man. Finish a combo. Finish a combo. You need to finish this combo to kill. Thank you. I think that was the first combo this S has genuinely finished. Tried to I wonder if he tried to dash for DP. But whatever he tried to do, he got clocked out of it. Now he's in the corner. No DP. The streak is broken. Didn't respect the plus frames. Ooh, didn't hit confirm. Didn't hit confirm again. There's the DP. Oh, come on, man. Hit confirm something. Like, I kind of get it. There are some hits that you can get that are really unexpected or, you know, like maybe the distance is unexpected. Who knows? You know, like all kinds of scenarios that can result in you not, but like that and, and that. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't think I'm expecting too much. I don't think my expectations are too high, but I also don't play these characters. So maybe they are? I don't fucking... I mean, I'm, uh, to be fair, I have never seen S and thought for even a second. You know what? I gotta give it to him. This character's pretty hard to play. Understandable that they would drop that. Naoto, I, I give you a little bit of leniency there. Alright. I'm already on board. Because that was kind of a weird hit confirm. Look at that, he finished the damn plate. Oh, didn't get I would have got I would have flinched. I would have I would have tried to hit something. I would have tried to hit something and I would have gotten counter hit. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I hate Susano. <laughs> the question is now he's he's been patient on defense, right? This Susano. Are we gonna see throws? Are we gonna see like, maybe he'll do... He does the overhead into Gauntlet Hades. It's not an overhead, but he does that move into Gauntlet Hades. Waiting too long. Got himself a fatal counter. Should he have bursted this? He should... Okay, he, he did have the rapid cancel on lock. I just feel like there should have been an overdrive cancel in there. Okay. Alright. It all worked out. It all worked out. It is tough, though, especially with Susano, because... I mean, all of his multi-hitting moves, he can cancel on each hit, right? He doesn't have to. He can cancel the first hit of 3C. He can cancel the first hit of 6B. I believe he can cancel the first hit of 2C, even though that was a little bit different. But still, like... So he's not committing to any of them. He recovers pretty damn quickly. Deceptively quickly. For being the big boy. Dude, that was some good blocking right there. Up until he got the ankles clipped. Oh, that sucks. I've been harping on people all this time. Come on, man. Hit confirm your hits. The Raggy tried really hard right there. But he missed it by just a little bit. And he got whiff punished for it. The poor man. Oh, is he dead? Nah. Parasian too high. <laughs> Yeah, Ragna's dead. This is Ragna. He doesn't even need the final laser. Why did you buff Susano like this? Like, out of all the things that you could have done to buff Susano, because he was pretty mid-tier when he got first released, his damage was not the problem. You didn't need to buff that part. But for whatever reason, they did. And now he's busting out combos like that. Ragna gave up the turn, gave up the corner. What is he scared of? I'm actually genuinely curious what he was scared of there, because Susano has no unlock, so it's not like he had to, he didn't have to worry about like OD raid or anything. He didn't have to worry about DP. He is dead. Please don't fuck it up. 
I saw that overdrive and was like, he's gonna fuck. They're both fucking it up. God, what is wrong with you people? Stop overdriving or something. Ugh. All right, this one might be a little bit. I mean, I'm hoping because the Celica was the one that uploaded this. But they are only. I can't remember if they were level 30 or level 31. So this might be a little bit lopsided, but hopefully not. Hopefully not. Unfortunately, the Valkenhayn. Because, like I said, it was the Celica that uploaded it. So I didn't see that. I wasn't 100% sure that this was this Valkenhayn. He got demoted at some point. Because he was. I think Keishin last time I saw him? Moving on a bit of a loss streak, but unfortunately, you're getting Valkenhayn. And, uh. Celica, does she have. Like, I know she kind of sort of has a DP, but, like, that. But is that actually flame? Flame. Is that frame one and vulnerable? I don't actually know. Or is it armor? I don't know. I feel like I remember there being something about it that made it so it wasn't, like, a real reversal. Nice TRM. Talking about reversals, Valkenheim definitely doesn't have one, but you don't need one if the person's just gonna let you roll out of the corner. Kinda of surprised he had to block that. Being really respectful of Celica, which is not something I've seen very often. Nice combo. Dropped it right there, though. The second I'm about to say something, the universe sees, the universe hears. And says, not nice combo. Not anymore. Alright, Celica in there. Oh my god, what a call out. Unfortunately, dropped the combo. Oh, you gotta believe it. That fr I think that first wolf dash would have actually worked. If he had let it ride all the way to her. Oh no, we're dropping everything today. Did the internet just get magically worse for everybody that plays this game? That's why every single person is dropping every damn one of their combos. Ooh, very nice patience. That's a huge punish. Honestly, kind of feel like Celica should have burst at this. Because I think that's Valkenhayn's highest damage. That was 4,700 meterless, by the way. I no longer think that that's Valkenhayn's... Damn, that healing though. Oh my god, she's getting more. She could have gotten even more, but she dropped the combo, and now he dropped the... He's dead. She had Exceeding Cell, right? Oh my god. <laughs> Not Exceeding Cell. What's it called? Exceeding Cell is that thingy. What's it called? Active Flow. Ah. I love Central Fiction. I don't hate Exceeding Cell at all. That's not my one of my least favorite changes in the history of Blaze Blue. Shit, give me guard primers back over at Seed Excel. <laughs> okay, so this one you saw, you, you would see the levels, right? Not typically the levels I go for, but I cannot imagine this mirror match is anything but comical as hell. And I want to see it. Because I don't think I've seen a my mirror match before. Okay, we're just not blocking. Ooh, no hit confirm though. See, that's more of what I'm expecting. I haven't seen much of just both of them flipping around and just diving at each other non-stop. That was more along the lines of what I was expecting. And there hasn't been much of it. Nice block. Should have my, since I know some of you guys play my, Stroymex. I'm sure there's some other ones. If you are a my player, and thus you actually know... That was kind of tricky. I like it. And thus... You know all the characters' options. You know all the characters' Gatlings. Should you ever get hit by, I mean, pretty much any of her mix-up, right? Like, if you're just getting caught in neutral because the person picked a better button or their space is just a little bit better, we're cool with that. But, like, should you ever get hit by any high-low mix-up from this character ever? If you actually just know all of her options because you play the character? I think that Mai got caught, like, the way I get caught so often, where the second I get hit, and it's a stupid habit to have, 
Uh, but the, whenever I get hit and I know I get hit, I instantly press a button to start holding it down so that... Um, let me get another Tager. Oh, do I have the same? No, I don't have the same one. I need a different one. Same Tager player, different second player. Uh, crap, what was I going to say? I lost track. Oh, when I get hit, I just start holding the button because I, you know, you need to hold a button to tech. But if you're still standing, obviously you don't need to tech. And so that does lead to scenarios like that where it's like, ah, shit, I got hit. All right, let me press this button down. But then they didn't do the combo. And so it results in uh, bad things. You just get counter hit. You just let them run away like that? Like, I mean, I don't I feel like, I feel like if you are a Tager player, and you are up against somebody who does not have meter to rapid cancel. 100% of the time, it is better to eat the potential DP. I don't know why I said potential like that. Than it is to ever potentially let them get out for free. Because you just stand there trying to bait it out. I hear there's a dog barking outside, and I was like, there's no... Why am I hearing Hype Dog on this stage? It, so it genuinely sounded exactly the same. Poor Tager. <laughs> like, it's so wild that I can sit here, and you can see the definitive startup frames of 2C. The, and it's not just like, oh, I'm a Tager player, so thus I can identify what a 2, what 2C startup looks like better than most people and no even if you've never played tager before you can see that he's going for 2c and yet the invulnerability frames still aren't out yet at that point he still gets counter hit that's just so unacceptable to me that was nice i like it he could have hit confirmed actually he probably could have killed now that i'm thinking about it i mean obviously he gets the kill here anyway because he went for that but he was going to get spark bolt he was just a like pixels away from spark bolt being full so i think if he had just gone for like 5A, 3C, he would have had Spark Bolt at that point. Would have been able to throw out Spark Bolt, thus would have had 100 meter to do Magnetech Wheel Terror Break. And he would have had enough damage. Ooh, ooh, I think he was a bit slow on that 5B, but yeah, I think he could have killed. Was that, I think that was a startup of 5B? But either way, the amount of times, I mean, it's just, that's how this game works, unfortunately. With Tager. Nice blocking. Um the second somebody is in there we go 2c work and he should have rapid canceled but um okay we take rapid cancel there it's really good damage here but the second somebody's in unmagnetized 5d range the majority of the cast can dash up and poke you before 5d will come out so it's like you're it's at their your perfect range to 5d them but it's also their perfect range to micro dash button. And the micro dash button is always going to win. It just sucks. Ooh, nice block of the quick getup, but unfortunately he'd be dead. So even if that 6B hadn't killed, I assume he was going to try to do um, 6B, 6B, Exceed Excel. That would be my guess. Why does that work so often? <laughs> that really shouldn't have worked. Uh-oh, you're getting bulleted. There's a lot of damage, too, because he actually had level 2 heat. Combo. Get the knockdown. Get one last level two. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, I need to. I can't. I, I can't. I can fast forward. So I have actually seen this one before. I started to do a replay theater. Actually, let me. Oh, I didn't know you could do this one frame by frame. Can't you go to like previous? You can't. I thought for sure you could. I thought a hundred percent. All right. I guess I gotta go all the way back. I thought this game at least did have, like, a previous round, next round option. Let me hang on. Uh, R2. So R2 will go to the next round, but there's no go back around. That sucks. Alright. Uh, I want to see that combo again, because... 
I had forgotten about it. Didn't Platinum Tech in the air out of Bullet 623B? Like, I've never seen 623B not knock down. And so it's on this comp, right? Yeah, it is. So that was off of a throw. The throw doesn't have good proration. Plus, it's a pretty long combo. She did. She teched me. I have never, ever seen somebody tech that early out of 623B. Never. And I, to be fair, it's not like Bullet is the most prolific character in the universe, so there's not a whole lot of matches to have potentially been exposed to that. But I'm just, like I said, I've never seen that move not knocked down. Ever. Same exact mix-up. Same exact throw setup as last time. Three level two. Ooh, I, do you could she have confirmed that? If she had done 5B, would that 5B have reached and comboed in time? I feel like it would have. Oh, yeah. I remember. I, I had forgotten about that. Now, I've, it has been long enough. It's been like two days since I saw this match, so I can't... I can't remember exactly what happened. I mean, I remember the results of the match, but I can't remember the specifics. Now I remember that purple throw. I don't know, man. It's just, it's so weird to see. Like, if you're playing consistently enough to be leader rank, to be ruler rank, whatever. Is it wrong to say that you should never get purple thrown? Because, like, if you're not playing consistently, yeah, I get it. But oh, oh, that's all you got. Oh, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Peace out. Get dumpster. Get the follow up again, and that's entirely unburstable too. You're eating that no matter what. At that point, got the burst back just a little bit too late. 6,300 damage. Didn't even have overdrive. Imagine if she did have overdrive, how much more damage she would have gotten. Bullet can be scary in the right scenarios. Uh. Okay, so I have three. Damn, I didn't know I had three of this Izanami. So this Izanami is new. At least the account is new. They've only played like 300-ish matches, and they have like an 85% win rate. They're kind of smashing people. You're screwed. I don't, I'm just going to tell you that right now. Like, the fact that she managed to get away that easily from you, set up all her stuff, you're sledging in when she has ribcage, what are you doing? Okay, never mind, it's an army screw. She might actually lose off it. Come on, you can't just not deck like that, you're in danger! Okay, we just count them both down. I think he tried to... Yeah, really, it's not gonna work on Izanami. Yeah, command grabs just really aren't gonna work on Izanami, but apparently, like, oh, you could have gotten a full combo and a kill, but you're gonna get it anyway. Burst bait at some point. She actually can't burst these. She can't burst. She screwed up. He kind of screwed up. He opened himself up to the burst. He should have just done that last 6C. He should have just instantly gone into Magnetech Wheel. But at that, that particular combo... Uh, I don't know if there might be some point at which... Yeah, that's so nasty. Let me use this punishable move that I can freely cancel into these projectiles, because I'm a well-designed, balanced character. Thanks, Arxis! <laughs> oh, that was... That's really nice way punish. Um, oh, yeah, you can't really charge Spark Bolt. I didn't even think about that. But yeah, like, you cannot charge Spark Bolt against this character. I'm pretty sure... She can reaction punish that every single... Because even if you just do a minimum... Oh yeah, maybe if you do a minimum, it's not reactable. Like, if you just press it and release, you don't hold it at all. Oh my god, why did that whiff? Uh, it was probably in vulnerability frames, now I think about it. But yeah, like, if you hold that down for any length of time whatsoever, I'm pretty sure she can always reaction counter hit you with that low. And you will never be able to do anything about it. Oops, I... That's my bad. I accidentally hit fast forward. Uh, okay, we just do that. I think he could have killed. Honestly, if he had just rapid canceled that instantly instead of going for the reset, I think he could have killed. Oh, Chari actually won. Well done. We take those. I'm not paying attention. Apparently, I'm a tidbit tired. Losing track of things.
I have not seen one of these dubbed zombie colors. I have not seen a zombie color in ages. Oh, drop the combo, let her out, doesn't matter, Lychee's buttons are too good. Nice block. Good jump. Just Lychee's defense looking pretty sweet. Just Lychee in general looking pretty sweet. I think that combo could have gone a bit longer. Quick get up, 5A, no hit confirmed, land low anyway, no hit confirmed. But then we get another hit, and this time we do hit confirm it, and we get the kill. This light is looking pretty good, can't lock. Been a minute since I've seen a genuinely good light sheet, too. Definitely one of the best characters in the game, so it's kind of, I mean, it, I guess it's not really that weird. She's still probably one of the hardest characters to play in the game. Like, same thing with Carl, right? Like, when has Carl not been top tier? But every single version of the game, there's always been a plenty of other characters that are top tier that are a lot easier to use. Patience by the slide. Oh, and then she just jumps in. This time she does not block the frying pan. Probably cycled through a few too many items. Like she lost track, didn't know she had it. Because, I mean, you're just, unless you know she has frying pan, you're never going to look for that option. Ooh, that's interesting. I guess she needed to hold it down for a bit longer. The combo again. It is light. She's definitely got pretty good defense. Definitely got solid neutral. But I don't know if she's actually managed the full combo yet. The dog's barking. Like, I just, I keep... I mean, obviously, I would never think about it were I not currently watching Blaze Blue, but it's just so similar to Hype Dog. And I'm just like, why is Hype Dog barking? We're not on the right stage for that. <laughs> this Platinum, I don't think she ever stops hitting buttons. Like, she's always hitting something. So are we gonna do wake up hard car? Nope. Thought she was. She gotta hold all this. Hard car's gotta be something coming at some point. Like, she's looking for it too, I always. Smack him with the overhead. No astral. Pansy. Does Light she still have to be on her staff in order to do her astral? I know they made a bunch of changes to diff- Man, I know I had so many more of these. Alright, I'm just gonna end on this one. Oh, I gotta end on making you go up against a Hosma? My bad, bro. Should've done this one earlier. I assume this isn't gonna go well, but maybe it will. It's just a 9.9 .9 versus .1 matchup. <laughs> Could you imagine if it was actually that bad? Got bad for Hosma really quickly. Oh, but he didn't make a moment. Nice little poke there, I like that. There we go, hit confirmed at that time. Still not max. But you have to hard commit to... Because um, the best combo you can get off a of counter hit 5D is with a sledge into 360B. But as mentioned, you have to hard commit on uh, a sledge. You can't do it on reaction. So you, you have to know. Well, I mean, you either do it or you know, like, okay, this is definitely going to counter hit. Maybe he could have whiff punished. I'm not 100% sure. This is a bad... Oh, that was so nice. But why would you punish with 5A? I, actually, no, he can kill. He can kill. That into... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about the whole sparkle thing. I just knew he had active flow of Exceedic Cell on lock. I was like, man, why would you punish with a 5A and you go to back and tech wheel that early? But no, no, it all makes sense. He did the right thing. He's making him doing the right thing. God damn. I'm still kind of sad, though. Like, I, I can't blame anybody. I cannot blame a single person in the universe for not going for the actual difficult hit confirm off that fatal counter. 
but I still get a little sad every single time that they do it and they don't go for the 3C Atomic Collider with 6A, 6C route. I mean, you get way more damage and it's so much cooler, but it's also so much harder. The timing on the 6A is incredibly precise. Oh, very nice. Okay, my bad. You knew what you... Why are you doing all this? All right, there we go. <laughs> Man, just make it simple. Make it easy. Take the win. Goodness gracious. Don't be opening the doors. Because Hazuma is... This matchup is bad enough that Hazuma can easily blast those doors down. You know what? I'm going to... Wait, no. Screw it. I'm going to... I haven't seen an Asriel. Have I? In like three replay theaters, it feels like. So I was going to watch this one. Although now that I... You know, when I started to play it, I was like, nah, never mind. Uh, the Hakuman's definitely the one that pops up, that pops off. But I'm pretty sure I do recall both of them playing really well. It's just, there was something about the Hakuman that was the reason why I saved this. That. Must have been that. That's such a sick re Off of 6C? What a reaction. Nice block. Throw him into the corner. Quick get up. Ducks underneath the 5A. Good combo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got the real stuff on lock. Get that duck. Get the double marks. Well, we caught it. He confirmed it. Never mind. The Asriel's sick. Okay. He, no, wait. Did he screw this up? No, he didn't. He did. It's blue beaded. I wasn't paying attention. Why are you extending the combo that much? You had 100 meters. Blackhawk Stinger, bro. Why does everybody need to make my heart beat so damn hard? Like, just make it simple. Remove the stress. Shit. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, never mind. Never, what a hit confirm. But he risked it all, and now he has so much meter to play with. But he missed the instant air dash. He's me. He's me. He can't instant air dash. Nice throw tech. Oh, nice anti-air, though. And that's the... Max damage hit confirm right there. The double jump in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or not the double jump, the re-jump. Oh, I had forgotten that part. You want a DP? Sorry, Asriel, your DP sucks. Every character has like 15 different answers for it. You can low profile it. You just beat it clean like that by dashing through it. I don't care about your DP. Bring back Invincible Growler, please and thank you. Oh my god, what a 5A. What a hitbox. Good job, Arxis. Uh, I still maintain. I still maintain. The reason why, oh my god, that they don't put hitbox viewers in is not because they don't want to. It's not because they don't think it'll be beneficial enough. They don't want to put in the effort. It's because they don't want us to actually see how goddamn scuffed their hitboxes are. That's a big punish. I think he's dead. No, he's not gonna get it on the meter. Oh, and we dropped it anyway. Oh, we got double overdrive. He back dashed it, but he didn't punish it. Why does Hawkman recover? Ah, that's why I remember now. Oh, I wish I could rewind. Was that a fatal counter? He's dead, isn't he? He's dead? Is he dead? He's dead! I was wrong. I mean, they both popped off. Like, what a fucking. Oh. Could you imagine? Just imagine. How happy I would be as an individual if every single match of replay theater was even close to that level of gameplay. Like, oh my god, that was so good. Ooh, that's giving me goosebumps. Ah, <sighs> that was satisfying. I'm really glad I had that idea. Thanks, brain. <laughs> that made me really happy.